Hi everybody, this is Chrissy for the Scrappy Maven Getaway. Today is Saturday, which means it's a scrap lift day. So I took my scrap lift inspiration from a Maggie Holmes layout I saw on Pinterest. And I'll make sure to link the picture at the very end, along with um, in the description for you as well. And it was a picture of one of her little girls. And I just really love the simplicity of it. So I decided to go with it and take it almost exact scrap lift. And I just do this picture of my son on his first birthday that I happened to snap. We had celebrated his birthday on the weekend and then his birthday was on a Monday or a Tuesday. I can't remember. But so it was just him and me that day. And so I just kind of hung out with him and had a fun day with him and I got this picture that I really like and this was his very first birthday so kind of a big deal and I just love the picture so he's in this really cute shirt that he got from one of his uncles so really cute and so back to the layout a little bit there's not a whole lot to say about this because all I'm celebrating it's it's just basically to be his layout for his birthday pretty simple not a whole lot to it I add some Maggie Holmes um, confetti pieces to it and that love you banner, the happy birthday, or I think it says birthday boy banner in the blue right there, the 3x4 card, and the tag. They're all from Maggie Holmes confetti line. The rest of the pattern paper is from Crate Paper Boys Rule, and I had the 6x6 pack, so I decided to use that, and so that's where that's all from. And I just simply punch holes I have a, a whole a circle punch and I just randomly chose where on the six by six piece of paper to punch the hole and then sorry the circle and then I just cut it in half so that was really easy and that's how I got that side line there and then I use a little piece and I I'm not sure if this is Maggie Holmes or Dear Lizzie I can't remember anymore and it's just a little word that says let's so the title becomes let's celebrate and I thought that was really cool and it's in the gold of course because I'm still obsessed with gold I also add his age with the one there and I kind of play around to decide which which one I want to use and I think I go back to the first one that I chose there and that's also in a gold foil type thing and you'll also see one more hint of that on the tag I add his initials his uh, middle name is James, so we call him JJ. I also add a few gold stars, once again, just trying to tie in the, the gold everywhere. And it's supposed to be a fun and happy layout, so I thought stars worked well. I have the hardest time using them. I don't know why, but stars are really hard for me to use. And then I also add just a few other little pieces to kind of have that kind of confetti-ness to it. I think that's kind of why I added it there. So you're just going to see me do that now. But yeah, so for Jackson's birthday, he got to have a cupcake all to himself. And of course, he loved that. For most one-year-olds, I know they kind of play with it and get it all over themselves and mess around with it. Yeah, my son ate it all. It was still messy because, of course, he's he was allowed to eat it with his hands and everything. But he wasn't... Uh, worried about saving any or making a mess he just shoved the whole thing in his mouth and enjoyed eating it so it was quite funny we weren't expecting him to do that really but he did <laughs> he was really cute and he got lots of presents and he had a great time I think for the first birthday he still wasn't in love with the idea of opening gifts on his own like he still wasn't to that point yet so he had his little cousin there and she helped him which worked well and he got lots of toys and tons of clothes and he was one very spoiled boy that's for sure so here you see me adding that the JJ for his initials right there on the top of that tag and I have to think of what else I did I did this layout quite a while ago so I can't actually remember at the moment what else I do here um, I don't know if that stays there. I think I tried to add that, and I don't know that it fits there. I don't remember. 
because it's the wrong color. It's a mint color and there's no mint on anywhere else on the layout. So I tried to add it, but it doesn't end up making it on the layout. I try to add a whole bunch of other things. And in the end, I kind of decided simplicity was best. And so that's what I do, though it's very hard for me. I'm not actually normally want to keep things simplistic. I like to add lots of embellishments and lots of layering and all of that. So this was actually a hard layout for me to do. And I was happy with the way it turned out. It, Like I was saying, it is very much almost a complete scrap lift from Maggie Holmes. The only difference is her embellishments where the photo is. First of all, her photo was an Instagram, so it was a square photo. And I don't use a square photo. And she didn't have as many embellishments kind of sticking out of the photo. So I layered my photo on a piece of 6x6 six six paper. And then I used, of course, the 3x4 card and the tag. And hers is not like that. There's just a little bit. And then the, the main part of her layout is the circles on the other side. So that's kind of what I do there. I did add some hand stitching, back stitching onto those half circles. And I just took my time and punched everything out and then back stitched the whole thing. And I love the way that turned out. And I used some white thread that had gold kind of spun in it. So I thought it was really pretty. And it kind of helped bring a little bit of gold to that side of the page as well. So all you're going to see me do now is add the date of his birthday. And his birthday was on January 19th. And then that's it. That's my layout. Thanks everyone so much for watching. And I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.